You can, but you know, We don't care enough about winning to get people stuck. Mm. And people have gotten stuck. Mm -hmm. So we're going to avoid that. Mm -hmm. We're going to zip to the base. And you're going to roll it back. Besides the fact that Dennis is allergic to this stuff, Majorly. Majorly. <laughs> um, yeah. Hospital majorly. This, this can bind. It's made so you can get out. But if you're not experienced and you're not comfortable, you can get stuck. Mm -hmm. This way, you could just push up with your feet and you're out. So, if for any reason you get in a skirted boat, you will not be zipping this neoprene collar. You won't be zipping the collar if it's not neoprene. Do not zip it. <laughs> it means a little more bailing. Who cares? It's better than having to struggle with a zipper. This way we know, even if this zipper sticks, you can stand out and get out of the boat, okay? So that's what we're shooting for, ultimate safety. If you're an experienced kayaker, you've been doing this for years, they'll go ahead, they'll go all the way up, but we're not those people, okay? Getting to, to get out of the boat, if for some reason, just reach down, zipper's got a tag, feel for it. And go. All right. Cool. So every race we do from a score race, we have to do this. We have to have a cover. Every canoe. And every boat we borrow has to have a cover. Now they may or may not require you to put it on, but you have to have it. And if they decide it has to be on, it has to be on. You can't race if you don't have one. They've already said, no cover, no race. So, and they have good reasons for that. You know, at Marina, 10 boats went over. They have two safety boats. It's a lot of people to try and handle. The covers, point, whole point of the cover is to keep water out of the canoe. They wouldn't have had to help so many people if the boats weren't all full of water. So this way, it limits the weight of the boat, the water in the boat, and makes it much easier to flip and much less time failing. I mean, that's what they were invented for, is to save everyone time and energy and, um, and as a safety tool. So do they just determine at the time of the race whether or not the covers are going to be required then? Or are they going to always be on them? Yeah, we're, we're just going to put the suckers on and save ourselves the trouble. I mean, if 10 minutes before the race they say, okay, when else put covers on? We don't, we don't want to be rushing and messing around. We'll just, from now on, they're going on. Do we have one Honestly, for if you wear it and it, the waves aren't that big, you still take on water, you don't have to worry about it. Keeps you warm too. Yeah. Kept us warm in Alcatraz. So if you're in seat five, unzip it, fold it out. You're gonna, you're gonna be in the boat. You're gonna need to fold it out, and you're just gonna have to. It's a pain, but you're not gonna have that much water to bail. So I mean, the difference is less water, less water, less irritation, more water. <laughs> so more room. Um, a smaller bailing bucket, obviously, with this one, and not one of those huge. Well, the big ones. The big ones. The good thing about the big ones is when the boat gets a lot of water, you can get it the heck out quickly, and they float. Um, we're gonna put some foam in the smaller ones so that they float too, because they don't float. Okay. Oh. So, so this is this is the deal, and we'll talk more when we get to change races. That's what these patches are for, for grabbing on to the edge of the boat. Also, if the boat flips. This will help you get some traction on it. Kind of tells you where to get in for your seat too. Kind of. <laughs> well, the whole stretch. Start that grabbing. Um, it feels a little different to get into a boat like this with a cover, but it's just a matter of getting used to it. That's all. And, okay. and falling in ungracefully is not going to pull it in. Huh? It's. I mean, it's secure. Yeah. 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 These are. There's metal rails that this feeds through. Oh. Okay. So. Okay. And um, so let's talk to Uhuli again. Everyone knows Ama, Yako, Ba'a, mean body of the boat. The mommies are the front and the back panels. Okay, that's a prow. I don't know the Hawaiian name for it. Does anyone know the Hawaiian name for it? I think it's just the Manu. <laughs> so, upright, flipped over. These are the pieces you're going to stand on. Right? It's small. Yeah. Yeah. And the boat may be slippery. So if that happens, that you try to get up, you're going to be putting one foot up and then trying to get yourself up on top of it, pull yourself up. If you try and try and it doesn't work, you're going to come over on this side, get it right next, up on here, get it right next to the boat, you're going to be reaching that away. 
or getting your body over that away and, and holding here and pulling. Now two, four, and three, you have to work in a coordinated way. You have to be talking to each other. So, you know, it's like one, two, three, whatever you guys want to call, make it one, two, three. You know, one, two, three, and he's gonna push up, two and four. You're gonna try and stabilize it. We'll probably have to have the other people involved who aren't doing chores, aren't fetching other things, help hold the boat up before it drops. But we'll have to do it, like physically. So, um, <clears throat> and they suggested, when we have an open boat like this, to fill it all the way to the gunnels with water, fill it up, sink it, and then have people oh my, bail it. <gasps> um, and to be honest... Who came up with that idea? <laughs> you mean practicing? Actually, or some practicing? clubs train with that. They train with it. it. It's a training device, and it's a real situation. I was going to say, our boat was underwater. Our boat was underwater. It's a real situation. The gunnels were under the water. So, so even though it seems kind of crazy to take a boat out there and fill it full of water, the reality is, is that's what happened in Marina. And if the water keeps waters, coming in. Big water, all the way to the gunnels. you got to know how to empty it all out. I so, swamped three times. We had to flip it over three times. <laughs> so, so we're going to take both these boats out together. Um, some people are going to be open, some people are going to be closed. We're going to have one boat do it first. We're going to have this one probably do it first. Some people don't know how to do a change or get in. Right. So you don't go over that. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do this boat first, and then we'll do this boat. So that everyone's got the sense of how it works, who's out there. And then you guys will swap. And, so it's going to take a little while. Okay, so getting back in the canoe. This is a good question. There are a lot of ways to get back in the canoe. Some people, you know, it's like a pull-up. And if you want to train for this, pull-ups. Go on a swimming pool, pull-up. So you're on the edge, pull-up, so you get down to here. And you're holding yourself up out of the water. It's this motion. You want to kick with your feet. So you grab on, you pull yourself up, you kick with your feet at the same time. Some people, they just have to hook their leg. You hold, you hook your leg. You can get your heel under here. You can't really do it. Oh, yes. Basically doing this, yeah. and then pulling yourself up this way. Some people just go up like tunas, <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, <laughs> all that. He yeah. goes in head first. Yes, yeah, sometimes go ahead first. However you get in, you get in. It's all good. What? Uh, for change races, there's a there's a, a preferred method, which is you pull up, you kick with your feet, you throw your hiney in, and your legs. Uh, usually much easier for men, usually much more difficult for women, so the leg hook is much more common for females. Okay, any other questions? Actually, for men, it's because our legs are strong. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that comment again? For, uh, on video, what was that? No reporting. No. You got something no. to the girls get hurt. Are there any other questions? Remember, you, you, have, you stand the chance of losing whatever you got on you. Keys, phone, wallet, hat, glasses, so whatever you don't want to end up in the drink, be sure you leave it on shore. Okay, so first 12. Everyone's got to do it, so... Everybody go to the 